YouTube friends. <clears throat> so tonight I thought I would talk about obsidian. I have four different obsidians here that I'm going to go through with you. Um, when you think about obsidian, think about the interior of the earth and how there's all of this tumultuous activity going on inside the earth. It's kind of like ourselves, right? Obsidian is one of those stones that's great for shadow work, for working with things that are interior that need to come to the surface. Or, to put it another way, like you're ready to deal with those things. But you have to be ready to deal with them because they will come up. So that's kind of what you have to think about those tumultuous things that are underlying and then all of that energy has got to find a way out like a volcano which is where obsidian really comes from it comes from molten lava that has come through a fissure with this great bounding energy and it's flowed down and it's cooled very very quickly <clears throat> so before I bring them out Drop a Lang Lang. Um, I just kind of prepare yourself to deal with things that might be long term, they might be an underlying sort of an issue for you that are not always easy to deal with. That's kind of what you have to be prepared for when you work with obsidian. It's kind of like that. So the one that most of us know is black obsidian. That's probably the most powerful. It's an incredibly protective stone. It's great for protection, protective spells. But it also makes you deal with your fears of what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of happening that you need to bring out your obsidian? I consider my obsidian stones so strong that I'm not always ready to deal with their energies. So I do keep them under wraps. And after I work with them, I wash them and put them away because what I deal with today, I may not be willing to deal with tomorrow. So, like I was saying, your tumultuous activity is like a piece of glass shard that is incredibly sharp and glass-like and very, very dark. That's obsidian. you got to be willing to do a lot of shadow work to work with this. It's going to bring up some stuff that you may not be wanting to deal with, but when you bring it out, be prepared to deal with it. And then afterwards, I suggest you cleanse the room, you cleanse the energy, and you cleanse the stone. And when you're finished working with it, you do put it away. Think about this like, without a volcano, there wouldn't be an island, right? But what does that island do? It gives you a safe place to stand, because it does do that, it is very protective. It protects you from all those underlying things that are underneath. It protects you from the vastness of the ocean that's around you. It gives you a safe place to stand. But when you're standing there, you're dealing with yourself. And it sort of bears your soul. And you have to work with what's brought to the surface. That's obsidian. It's incredibly strong incredibly strong, so keep that in mind. A less intense form of obsidian, black obsidian, would be mahogany obsidian. This one's a little more earthbound. This one kind of helps you work with energies that are blocked. So if you're standing on the earth and you're gathering all your, all your energy from the earth, 
this is stuff that you might want to work with right now. Maybe you don't want to work with your past, like your, your black obsidian might cause you to do. Maybe you want to work with something that you're dealing with right now, today. You're standing here, you got to work with this thing today. What energies are being blocked today? That's when I would bring out mahogany obsidian. That's what that's good for. Like, like right now. Not so much ancestral callings, but today, right now. What am I going to work with? What's blocking me? What energies are blocking me from moving forward? And accomplishing my goals. Then that would be that one. You've got an even gentler form in Apache Tear. I just kind of keep mine interlocked with turquoise for whatever reason. Apache tear is something you got to think about. This is probably going to make me sad to deal with. This is going to bring up some kind of bad feelings, but it's a more gentle form of dealing with it. It's not as intense. It's not as long term. It's much more gentle. It kind of helps you release your own self limitations. If So this is more gentle, self-limiting, releasing kind of a thing. Brings it up in a way that I can deal with it. It might make me sad, but I can deal with it. And that's Apache Tear. Then an even more gentle form of that would be Snowflake Obsidian. This one deals on an even gentler aura. This one keeps you incredibly balanced. It's the whole yin-yang thing. Yes, I've got some bad. Maybe I feel like a loner. Maybe I feel isolated. But is that really a bad thing? Because when I'm isolated, I kind of learn to entertain myself. I kind of learn to appreciate myself. I have time to work on my crafts and my arts and my thoughts and write things down and journal. So being alone is sad. But working on those things while I'm alone is good. It's very, very much a yin-yang kind of a stone. That's why it's like black and white. It's a very natural yin-yang form of obsidian. Okay guys, so just, just bear in mind that when you work with obsidian, you're bringing those things up, up from the depths. And they have to be brought out have to deal with them and face them, then because of the protectiveness of the stone, you're going to be able to deal with them. It just depends on what an intense level you want to work with. That's really the only differences that I've ever felt from working with obsidian, is the intenseness of what I want to work on, and in what sort of realm and what aura I want to be in at that time that I want to work on those things. Yeah, we all got to bring them up and we got to work on them, but do I want to be uh, like a black obsidian or do I want to be more gentle, more gentle, and most gentle? So just think about that when you're choosing your obsidian stone is what level am I ready to work on them? And remember, you can wash them underwater, no matter what the critics might say. You can dry them them away. But treat them with incredible reverence because they do come from the center of our earth, from a tumultuous place, and they are here to help you. Their energies are here to lend you help to deal with the things that you feel like you're ready to work with. Whether it's ancestral work or long-term work or a more gentle form of balance, that's what obsidian can do for you. Hey guys. Alright, as always, like, subscribe, comment. Many blessings.